The little rocket I have dubbed the 445 or 445, I'm not really sure what's called, I'm bad at naming rockets. It is 445 millimeters long. Um, this is really the third incarnation of this rocket. Uh, I, I have uh, lost it two other times, basically the same size and shape. Uh, each time making little refinements, this is probably the, uh, you know, most meticulously uh, put together incarnation of it. But um, each time the parachute has gotten smaller because I've lost it in in the wind. I've uh, been using really small parachutes, but uh, this one is is probably smaller than um, what you'd find on a uh, what are they called pooper trooper parachutes? Little little things I used to get as a kid. Um, so it's really tiny. It's maybe, you know, five inches in diameter. But I have chosen, I don't know if you can see this, uh, flagpole way over there. I've chosen for a change, a very calm day. So I'm hoping to not lose any rockets today. Um, what else can I tell you about this? Not much to tell you about it. It is, uh, like I said, it's a really small rocket. It's uh, going to launch on a D motor. And I expect it to go, you know, reasonably high, at least for a little amateur like me. Um, I hope you enjoy it. In five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. Not good. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're going to try that again. Nose cone deployed uh, long before Apogee. Damn. All right, we put the nose cone on a little better this time. Hopefully that won't happen again. Uh, that would explain the rocket's erratic looping. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Um, there we go. Much better. Wow, that sucker's high. 